Hello, my name is Alex Rothermel, and my Piggy Nation username is Razgrease2006. Uh, this video is to uh, help promote and sell the two PM8s that I've customly modified. The first one is a uh, special edition camo PM8, has the matching UL tip, and this is a 680 bore UL. It also comes with the stock proto barrel as well as well this is a 688 and then uh, I'm gonna come back to this one uh, but you can see what it has UL airport and the regulator that is a uh, hyper 3 die NT style regulator and then I'm gonna hand this one back and the other PM8 I have for sale is a uh, blue streak PM8 it has a 684 bore UL with a regular black UL tip and it has a regular die uh, twist ASA and a, a regular uh, die Hyper 3, not a Proto Hyper 3. Now you may be wondering, we just showed you the guns, what makes them special? They, they don't have a special anodizing, they don't look any different. Well, I'm sure you've all seen one of one splash anno of this or 101 splash that. I don't care about custom modifications that don't add function and form to the gun. My mods do add form and function to the gun. Now first thing, it depends on if you are familiar with a with a DM9, DM10, DM11, and PM8 bolt. This is not normally milled like it is. This reduction in the diameter of the top hat enables there to be more volume in the dump chamber which lowers the operating pressure of the PM8. Oh, hey, Maisie. Come here. Anyway, and then also, normally, the back cap on a PM8 has four arms. This one has two arms. Uh, this is known as the 530 mod. It was done on earlier matrices, but has kind of fallen out of favor because people don't like to modify their guns anymore. This helps make the dump chamber more efficient when it dumps the air down when it goes down and around and out in the front of the bolt. The next mod that I've done to these markers is that I don't know if the camera can pick it up very well. Okay, you can see it, the, the cuts in there. This, the body to this marker has actually been bored out like you would a cylinder in a car. This expands the dump chamber and allows this marker to instead of operating at 185 psi and having a louder shot than a die this marker now operates on 155 psi now i'm sure you guys have complained about paint getting smaller and what's really cool about what i've done with this bolt system is normally these red tips in the billy wing bolts are super glued but I've just kind of cut around it a little bit and it's not perfect, but I didn't want it to be perfect because I want it to stick in there. If the paint you're shooting is really small, stick the bolt tip in and it'll prevent rollback. If the paint you're shooting is not small, simply take it out and shoot it as normal. So I apologize for the jump cut. We actually had to uh, demonstrate something real quick, but we will be putting this over the chrono and I'll take the regulator immediately off once we're done but um if the camera person could come behind me the hopper is on it's on very loose because yep i can see it all right so here we go And this is really old and dimpled paint, so it's jamming out on us. But you see there, this, this marker is shooting where it should be. It, it is shooting around 290 feet per second.
But now you've 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 been chasing me all around. No, I can't. Gotta see. get. Okay, now I can see it. All right, that's going, you know, right in the middle. 155, 150 feet high. So uh, let's go ahead and cut. So just to, to finish the video and cap things off, these PM8s are special. All right, you may have heard of Miko Hutenin PM8s, and these are not those. These are PM8s that I've personally modified myself. And I'm not going to take the gun apart, but there is wired eyes. The body has been milled to accept wired eyes more easily. It's got the full grip on the regulator, so it's more ergonomic. You know, die ASA. There's almost nothing on these markers that is still original proto. Everything now is die. And what makes these worth more than a typical DM9 or a DM10 is if, if you look at the profile that you're looking down when you're shooting, it's, it's single stacked. It's not, I'll move to you. So normally with a die, you have an LPR right here. On a PM8, the LPR is adjusted here. You, you set it once and you leave it alone. It's a lot simpler. It's a lighter gun. It's more ergonomic. You can really get on it. And this is what really makes this this particular marker superior to a DM9 or a DM8. And then just to go over uh, this marker again, Cam, this one's going to cost a little bit more, but it's got the lever feed neck and it's got the ultralight ASA, which these are a real pain to actuate, but this is significantly lighter than the normal ASA on the silver one. So, um, these are my paintball guns. I want to sell one of them. The other one I'm going to keep because uh, this project, you know, I do want a little return from it. But ultimately, for for the price that I have in these, I don't think there's a better paintball marker on, on the market. It It's physics. People talk about, oh, well, this gun is smoother than that gun. No. This gun shoots a paintball at 150 PSI. All right. Normal PM8s operate at 185 PSI. Lux is operated at 190 PSI. Unless, you know, it's Pootie Monitor or whatever. All right. This gun is going to be one of the smoothest because of its low operating PSI and because of how close your hand is to the, to the axis of the barrel. So, uh, I sincerely hope you decide to buy one of these. One of them staying with me because I put a lot of work into it and I'll be playing with it in tournaments. And I uh, hope want to make a, bit, a big thank you to um, Project PB. Did help me out quite a bit. And want to also thank uh, Dimension Paintball. They're, they've also helped me get some, some die parts and things of that nature. And, and I would not have gotten that virtue clock were it not for Project PB helping me out. So thank you very much. Have fun paintballing.